Hi guys, my name is Shalani Franken and I'm an Australian filmmaker and former model. So I'm joined here today by Navneet. Hello. Hi Navneet. Hi Andy. Now you have started a new film school, Australian Academy of Film and Television. Yes, uh, we have. Yes, and you're doing this in conjunction with Pixel Institute of Photography in India? Uh, yes, in India we have teamed up with the Pixel Institute of Photography, but we'll be teaming up with different uh, institutes and schools in different places. All right, okay. So mm. why did you decide to start the school? Well, uh, it goes back to when I started studying film. And uh, I realized that when we study, go to the university to study film, there's so much of theory, so much of research, so much of writing essays, referencing, that our batch of 42, only four graduated because the others oh, didn't wow. want to do, do that. So I decided, no, I will start something where we get rid of this theory and we focus on what people want to do. People, filmmakers want to make films. Yeah. They don't want to study films. They're not worried about the French cinema or the German revolution or yeah. you know, anything of that kind. They just want to go out and shoot and film and edit and show it to people. So that's what we want to help them to do that. That is, but that's very true because that's what the same thing that happened to me. Yes. So I know what you mean. <laughs> so setting up a film school is a difficult thing. It I is. I can assume. So how hard was it? What did you do? What's the process? Oh, it was very hard. First of all, when I approached the government to set up a training organization, they said you need to have qualification to do that. I had uh, experience of more than 12 years in Bollywood. But they said, no, no, that doesn't work, you need a degree. Oh. So I went back, did the degree, did my master's, now I've got it. And then the next hard part was getting the equipment and the uh, space together. So luckily, my friend Varun, we, we work together and we have this uh, company called Friends uh, World TV, oh, yeah. where Varun is very passionate about getting the latest equipment. <laughs> so we have everything that we need to help people to make films, yeah. be it a camera, a jib, a drone, whatever they want, we have it. So yes, we, it's taken us a few years, but we are there now and we are ready to go. I think that's great. I think it's great also that you've studied at the university. Yes. So you've got all the knowledge now, you've absorbed everything. So you can basically create your courses with only the important information. Yes. So you, you really have all the knowledge and you can pick and choose what's more relevant. Yeah, exactly. When I, went to, when I was in the uni, I realized that, you know, filmmaking has no rules. Everybody has their own vision, yeah. their own, you know, they want to do what they want to do. But in order to do that, you need to know what the rules were yeah. so that you can break them. You need to know which rules to break, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because if we don't know the rules, we, we can't break them. Yeah. We can't go around them. So it's important to have some kind of education to do things wrongly. Wrongly. <laughs> <laughs> you might accidentally be doing something right. Yes. Yeah, I know. I see what you mean. So, you so it is a bit different, as in there's not so much theory. What no. other differences are there, or wh exactly how is this? Yeah, we are, we are starting with a three-week uh, course. It's a right. more of a workshop, which will be uh, consist of thirty-six hours of study, and within those thirty-six hours, we'll make a short film. Oh, good. So we we are calling it the thirty-six hour film. So that's the first, and then. From that workshop, we pick up students who are capable and willing and put together a team and start working on a feature project. That's great. That's great because you get to learn, you get to yes. experience the work and you get something at the end of it so that you can show in your, exactly. your credits. That's our, our aim is that from 2019, we should be making one feature film every year. Australia doesn't have a film industry. We're going to create that industry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, it's that's hard. That's need for, for bringing this to Australia. And the, another important thing is uh, every student who works on this workshop, because they'll get a credit in that short film, in whatever role they do, we'll help them get an IMDb listing, which is oh. normally hard to get. Yes, because when I look for crew, my first thing yes. is go to IMDb and see, do they have the exactly. credits? So that's good. Oh, that's fantastic. So that's another so benefit. when can we expect this? What's next? And well, we're launching Delhi on the 3rd of May. You are, you are with us there. I'm going to Yeah, Delhi. we're going it's to Delhi. <laughs> And then once we come back from June, we plan to start here in Rudy Hill. And then we are looking for more spaces and more venues and more campuses. Okay, great. So if people want to find out more, where can they go get it? Well, they can go to our website. Uh, it's aaftv.com. aaftv.com. That's Australian Academy of Film and Television. That's right. Or they can go to our uh, Facebook page and 
go there like us join us and you can receive updates about what's happening when we are doing something new something more exciting perfect well thank you lovely thanks for sharing with us now guys make sure that you check it out if you're interested in making films come yes. and see us and yeah we'll help you and I, as i always say we'll help you get your dream on screen well said <laughs>